Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects dynamically and a couple of the different workflow options you have. So a lot of you guys ask me what's the difference between Premiere Pro and After Effects and how do you know when to use which one. So right now I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, this little purple PR symbol. So what Premiere Pro is, is a video editing program. They call it a NLE or a non-linear editing software which just means that you can arrange a whole bunch of different video, audio, and other media clips sequentially on a timeline and also apply different color effects, audio effects, titles, text, and all of that built in. So you can see here, this is an example of a timeline for a finished product. And on the left here on the media bin, you can see all these different clips that I used in combination and cut them together and sequence them in this project. Also, if you notice at the top, they have all these different editing stations. All panels is what I'm on right now, but you see they have assembly for you to sequence and assemble your clips together, editing for you to chop and edit and add effects, color if you want to color correct, color grade with the proper visual scopes and graphs, all their different effects that are built in, audio adjustment effects, titles, and all the different media libraries you can have. So if you guys want a full overview of the basics of this program, I actually have a whole separate video for that on my channel. But I'm going to assume you are a bit familiar with Premiere Pro and you know what it's used for. Now what is After Effects? So this little darker purple symbol, AE, is Adobe After Effects. Now this is also a video editing program, but it's considered a video compositing program. And what that means is kind of consider it like Photoshop for video. It lets you composite different video or motion graphic elements all together on the same canvas on top of each other and blend them and apply a whole variety of special effects that they have built in. Now although Premiere Pro also has its own section for video effects as you see here with a whole bunch of different and very capable effects, there's just certain things that the engines in Premiere Pro are not designed or capable to do and that is when you're talking about special effects. So the name in After Effects suggests what it is, After Effects. So if you check through the After Effects playlist on my channel, you see that there's more powerful special effect options for rotoscoping or frame by frame animation, different things like the roto brush for selecting and tracking things out. You can track points and add 3D text onto walls and objects in your photo. And when you want to generate any type of particles or sparks or flames, that's when you'd come to After Effects and build it out here in the compositing software. So you might be wondering when to work between these, where do you start when you're editing a project from start to finish. So let me show you a few different options that Adobe lets you dynamically work between them with. This is where you're probably going to want to start. So when you have all your clips and audio files together and you're ready to drag them onto the timeline, sequence them, cut them and arrange them how you like. That's what this is going to look like after you build out the whole project. But let's say there are certain portions that you wanted to go in afterwards and add some special effects in After Effects, like adding text onto the wall or creating a cool motion graphic or whatever you wanted to do on the clip. That's when you could actually go into Premiere Pro and you could use the dynamic link options. So if you ever go to File, you could see Adobe Dynamic Link offers you three different options to work together with After Effects. So one, you can just create a new After Effects composition and that'll let you create a new composition in After Effects. It'll be totally blank and then it'll ask you to save it wherever. And this is what you'd use if you wanted to just create some maybe title text or lower thirds from scratch specifically for your project in After Effects. So if you check, I have a tutorial for creating lower thirds. But you could use this new composition to create whatever you wanted from scratch. And then when you close and save it, you'll see that it'll pop up in your project media bin for you to use. So then you could click and drag it onto your timeline for whatever that clip was. For example, here's a lower third. Well, let's head back into that file menu and you see the other option under Adobe Link is import an After Effects composition. So let's say you started in After Effects, you created whatever project or composition you wanted from scratch, and then you saved that After Effects project on your desktop or whatever folder. Then when you're working your project in Premiere and whatever compositions you had created within those projects will be available for you to click and import into your Premiere Pro project media bin. So when you press OK, you should also see those available for you to click and drag so you can dynamically edit with them. 
But the third and probably most useful way to add it dynamically is let's say there's just one clip that I wanted to add some special effects on. So I have all this timed out and sequenced. All you have to do is right click on a handful or just one clip and right click and replace with After Effects Composition. You could also do that in the file menu. But when you have the clip highlighted and you replace it with an After Effects Composition, it'll automatically open what you had highlighted in a new composition in After Effects for you to apply whatever adjustments you wanted to do onto it. So for example, you could use the 3D camera tracker or the scribble rotoscoping or rotobrushing effects to create mask or text or title effects. And then when you close it and press save, it'll automatically reflect your changes back in Premiere Pro. So you see how this clip is now pink? That means it's a linked composition and it's reflecting the changes that you made in After Effects. So that's how you can open clips up from Premiere Pro to add your special effects and then go back to working sequentially in Premiere Pro to finish editing your project. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely check out some of my other playlists that I mentioned so you can get more in depth on how to actually create the effects, how to use Premiere Pro and some stuff to do in After Effects. And make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And you can follow me on social media at Justin Show to stay tuned with everything I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.